Hey guys, welcome back to another review video. Uh, this time, got something in a little earlier than I was expecting. And that is... The Friday the 13th. Screen Factory or Shout Factory. Whichever one you want to call it. Uh, 4K Blu-ray box set. Alright. So we're going to go through all of these paper thing on the end here. It's like, put that up there for you. That was sort of glued on the back of the box art. So it's got like a pretty much a list of all the special features. Uh, all 12 films on 16 discs. Basically just telling you what you're getting. Then we got the box art itself. Let you guys see all of that. And then we will go movie by movie. First things first, we got the book that comes with it. Which pretty much has like a ton of behind the scenes stuff. Pretty much just trying to not going to go through the whole thing because that'd be insane. But um, it was just like giving you guys a glimpse of everything. Like Jason for party. Just look at the pictures. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much all the like a lot of like behind the scenes stuff. I think it, that's what it's supposed to be. That's pretty much cool to have with it. Then we start off with Friday the 13th, part one, the original. We got the back of the case with all the special features listed. So then we got two, two discs. Looks like we got the uncut version in the theatrical. And then I remember hearing about this on other, other reviews for it that I've been trying to stay somewhat away from. But yeah, they got it. Sort of a uh, reversible cover. So that's nice. That's really nice. And next, we have Friday the 13th, part two. Give you a glimpse of all the special features. Feel free to pause this on this part if you want to see what special features are included. This one is just one disc. And again, reversible cover. So that is... Friday the 13th part two. Next up, Friday the 13th part three. So we got that, which does come in 3D if I remember correctly. The special features. So you guys can see, don't want to cover up Jason because you know that's a money shot right there. Got the one disc. And then the reversible cover as well. And next up, Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter. Put that up there. That focus in on the special features, if it can. There you go. Steady hands. <laughs> then we got the disc. And the reversible cover. Mm -hmm. 
So far, I'm liking it. I'm really liking this collection. Can't wait to start cracking them open and watching every single one of them. Alright, so next we got Friday the 13th, Part 5, The New Beginning. Got that. Like, interesting back, uh, stills that they used on the back. Very interesting. Especially with Joey and Vic. I don't think I've ever seen that still before. That or pretty much if it, it, it has eluded me, if so. But yeah, there's the special features for you. Then, of course, the disc. And the reversible cover. Very surprising they didn't use the theatrical reversible cover for the reversible. With the, um, the mask that they used in the original box art. Very surprising they didn't use that for either side. Like, that's very surprising. Next up, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lips. We got that. Of course, the original uh, cover art. Then we got CD. And I did hear about this in reviews as well. Um, some of them don't necessarily have reversible cover art. Some of them are just stills on the inside, which we got part six, Jason with his, um, piece of the gate or spear, whatever you want to call it. So once again, let me go to the back. So that way you guys can see the special features for it. Come on. There you go. Focus. There we go. That is Friday the 13th, part six. Next up, Friday the 13th, part seven, the new blood. Of course, we got the original box art for that. Going to the back. Take a look. Special features. There you go. Take a look at the disc. And then another still of part seven, Jason with the ax. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Next up, Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. All right, we got the original box art for that. Then we got the back. Special features. Well, they got a gag reel. I wonder if that's going to have the uh, Jason with the dildo scene. I wonder if it's going to have that where Kane was uh, kind of messing with people. Then we got a CD. And as you can see, I'm not even going to take the disc out because you can see what the still image is behind it. Uh, part 8 Jason uh, next to the billboard. So... Friday the 13th, Part 8. Next up, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Which, this was part of the reason why I got this box set, because I have a Blu-ray box set of the original eight, the Paramount films. And I wanted to complete my collection, but finding Jason Goes to Hell seems to be a monumental task that is extremely hard to accomplish. Unless you're going like international and even then it's like. Far, they're charging far more than what it's worth, in my opinion. But here we got Jason Goes to Hell. And I believe ooh, we got two discs that you got to see that uh, looks like we have the theatrical version in the unrated version. So nice. it's always good to have the unrated version. You guys who have seen Jason Goes Down, you know what I mean. You know, you know what's in the unrated version. So then we looks like we are back to cover art. Ooh, let's let's take a look. So it looks like 
That is our cover art. I actually might flip that around. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, it's the same image. Yeah, because it's the same image. Uh, the text on it is just kind of different. And the um, back art is different. Like, as you look at, that's the front cover. And then that's it there. But it doesn't have the Jason Goes to Hell logo. I see, I see. Then we have the back art with that back art. So that's different. Now, what I'm wondering, let's take a look at the special features. All right. I was wondering if um, Adam Marcus's uh, documentary was going to be on here. It is not from what I see. It does have a commentary, though, which is nice. I'm probably I'm probably going to be watching everything with the commentaries. Come on, camera, focus. There we go. There we go. All right, and that is Jason Goes to Hell. Put that in there. Then next up, we have Jason X. So we'll put that up so that way you guys can see the special features on that. If it can focus. Camera. Focus camera. There we go. Focused a little bit. There we, there we, there we go. All right. Front cover again. Let's pop it open. So we got the disc. Another reversible cover similar to... Um, Jason Goes to Hell, where the front cover is very, very similar, but the back art is different. So then, like, pretty much you see KM on the back on that one. It's like Brodsky on the back of that one. Not too bad, not too bad. Jason X. I'm about to say Jason Goes to Hell. I already knew that. <laughs> We're good. Next up, Freddy versus Jason. Put that up. So that way you guys can see the special features. Come on. Focus. Focus. I'll put this all the way up. There we go. As a focus for two seconds. There we go. All right. So we got the the disc and then the reversible cover. Got the reversible cover with the back art of Freddy and Jason fighting. Now, interesting enough, a lot of their art and stills they have look really cool, but maybe it's me. But I find that to be kind of bland. Like of all the Freddy versus Jason poster art that there was, that's kind of bland. And then when you go to reverse it, even. That's kind of bland. Like, I mean, I get it's it gets the point across of what movie it's it is, but I feel like. That is both sides are missing something. Like on the cover art. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's me being picky, but um, or nitpicking. But I I feel like the covers for both of those are like just lacking a bit. Next up, we got the 2009 remake or reboot, whatever you want to call it, of Friday the 13th. So we got that turn it around so you can kind of see what we got on the back here both original and extended unrated cut there we go it's 
So if you open that up, the Killer Cut Blu-ray disc. And then it looks like we got maybe a different image. Oh, we do. We actually do have a different image. Let you guys take a look at that. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'd probably still stick with that image, though, on the front. All right, next up, last but certainly not least, is the bonus material disc. Or I think there might be a few discs in here. But then I'll put that up. Special features for you guys to see. Let's take a look on the inside. Ooh, two discs. So we got the two discs right here. Bonus disc one, bonus disc two. And then we could take those out. Then we got Alice before being attacked by Jason, possibly in a dream. Maybe in reality, who knows? All right. And that is essentially the entire box set for, uh, for Screen Factories, Friday the 13th, complete deluxe set. Overall, just based on presentation alone, I like it. I like the box art. I like a good portion of the reversible cover arts. Some of the stills I could do without. I mean, if they had other maybe uh, reversible covers, I'd have probably went with that. Um, like I said, the Freddy vs. Jason covers are kind of bland. Um, Jason Goes to Hell having the two of the same uh, covers, just different text on it. I mean kind of seem like running out of ideas maybe uh that's just me being nitpicky but overall i love it i love it just based on presentation um i will definitely keep you guys updated once i watch everything on here to see if there are any issues with the scans special features or just anything in general so always stay tuned uh let me know if you guys got the friday the 13th box set yourself uh, let me know how you like it. Uh, meanwhile, make sure you guys drop a like, hit the share button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, also, make sure to follow me on Twitch if you're into gaming like Dead by Daylight and watch parties that we do over there with horror movies. Sometimes I pop in over there in cosplay. Um, also, make sure join the lives whenever you see me on YouTube, Twitch, or anything like that. Always fun, always welcoming of new people. I'm going to head out, start watching these movies, and in the meantime, you got stay safe, have a good night. And as always, I am JG Dark, and thanks for watching.